So one of the strategies we teach our scholars for adding and subtracting is called the arrow way. It's also called arrow notation. And when you add and subtract the arrow way, basically you're adding or subtracting the tens and then adding and subtracting the ones. I'll show you some examples. So if we start with 36 plus 23, we know we're going to start at the number 36. I'm going to draw an arrow, and the first thing I'm going to do is add the value of the tens. There's a 2 in the tens place, so I know 2 tens equals 20. So I'm first going to solve 36 plus 20. Students can solve this problem two different ways. They can either use their knowledge of place value, such as 3 tens plus 2 tens equals five tens, or they can use their hundreds chart. Starting at the number 36 and adding two tens. One, two. Either way, they should figure out that 36 plus 20 is 56. Now that we have added the tens, we are going to add the ones. So we have 56 and now we need to add the three ones. So I'm drawing another arrow and I'm writing plus three to show that we are adding three more. Again, I like to push my students to use the place value knowledge. That way they're not constantly relying on the hundreds chart, which they might not always have with them. So six ones plus three ones equals nine ones. We didn't add any tens this time, so we have five tens and nine ones. So first we added the tens the value of the tens, and then we added the value of the ones. So 36 plus 23 is 59. I'll show you again with, with 53 plus 34. We're starting with the first number, 53. Draw our arrow. Now we're adding 34. We start with the tens. We add the tens. There are three tens. Three tens is equal to 30. So we're adding 30. 53 has five tens, and 30 is three tens. Five tens plus three tens is eight tens, and we had three ones. So 53 plus 30 equals 83. Now we have to add the ones. So we have 83, draw another arrow, plus four, because we have to add the four ones. And they should know, just by using their place value knowledge, that three ones plus four ones is equal to seven ones. So we have eight tens and seven ones. So 53 plus 34 equals 87. So we use the same strategy even when we subtract. We first subtract the tens and then we subtract the ones. We start with 84. We draw our arrow and we are subtracting four tens. So I'm going to show minus 40, because 4 tenths is equal to 40. Again, they should use their place value knowledge and know that 84 has 8 tenths. 8 tenths minus 4 tenths is 4 tenths. And then we had 4 ones. And now we have to subtract the ones. So 44 minus 2. 4 ones minus two ones is equal to two ones. So we have four tens and two ones. So 84 minus 42 is equal to 42. 66 minus 45, again we start with the first number. We draw our arrow and we subtract the tens. Four tens is equal to 40. So 66 minus 40 is 26 because six tens minus four tens is two tens, and then we have our six ones. Now we have to subtract our ones. So 26 minus five, six ones minus five ones is one one, and we have two tens. So 66 minus 45 equals 21. And that is how you add and subtract the arrow way, or using arrow notation.